So I'd like to go over a couple of things about uh, these Walboro fuel pumps when you go to install them. The first thing that I'd like to point out is the fact that we've got a line that we draw on the pump body and casing. The reason that we do that is so that when you go to install your fuel pump, we need to make sure that you don't actually spin the pump body inside of the casing. So when you go to install your fittings in the front and the rear of the pump, you need to make sure that you put your wrench on the pump down here, which should be a 14 millimeter, and then a 16 millimeter for the other fitting that's in front of it. You need to make sure that both wrenches are side by side down here when you're installing this side and that it's side by side here in the back when you're installing the back side. Never put a wrench down here on a fitting and then the other wrench on the pump down here because you could spin the pump body inside of the casing. If you do that, it's going to mess up the pump. It's going to fail right away. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you'll notice that there's positive and negative uh, symbols that are engraved into the pump body itself. That indicates where the red wire and the black wire goes on the pump. We always put the ring terminals on this side so that you can see if it's where the symbol is on this side here. The other thing is, is that there's two nuts actually on this Walboro fuel pump. The inside one that's closest to the pump body itself, I don't ever want you to mess around with that. And then the one that's on the outside, that's the one that you can take on and off if you ever have to swap the harnesses or anything like that. So basically, I would just like to demonstrate how it is that you should be installing these pumps into our fuel system. You're going to take a one inch wrench, and you're going to tighten down this fitting first. The next thing you're going to do is take a 16 millimeter or a 5 8 and you're going to tighten this fitting down. You put it in hand tight, and once you put it in hand tight, you only go one and a half to three more turns in order to get it tight. And then the last thing you're going to do is use this 14 millimeter, not a 9 16 so Make sure you're, you use a 14 millimeter, and you're going to tighten it down like this. Typically, I make sure that we have at least three threads sticking out. And if you'll notice, the line is still straight between the pump casing and the pump housing. And when you're done, on the one side, you would flip it over and do the exact same thing. And the only thing that you got to do is just make sure that these filter bases face down in the same direction.